Welcome to Falcon Blues TV, Everton 1, West Ham 0 at Goodison, a clean sheet and finally three points on the board for the Toffees, putting us into 13th place right before the international break and that couldn't have come any at any better time really, it gives us a nice little cushion now to have a little bit of a, a nice little extended break for a couple of weeks while the international games are on with a clean, with two clean sheets on the spin at Goodison Park. Um, and finally, finally, all I can say is finally got a bleeding win and about time. We said it was coming because we knew that this Everton side has been building up to something and okay it was only 1-0 but I will take that because that was an absolutely superb strike from Neil Mope. The touch, control and bang. Superb mate, you know if, he, if he's filling in for Dominic Carvalhoon for the time being then great. You know, more, hopefully you know he's, he's now got that goal under his belt, a bit more confidence in him and he's ready to you know ca carry on and fill in, fill in for Carvalhoon. And all throughout the pitch everyone was outstanding today it was just it was just a good game first half was very casual i don't I, west ham didn't really offer much um in the first half i didn't think and the same with us we didn't really i think we were, we were you know there's a lot of sloppy passing a lot of just lack of concentration a lot of the time but you know tarkovsky and cody are working great together onana it will be once again and it's just a guy who's playing like he's never been away from the place you know, just slots in like Lego doesn't need. He's just there. He, he he was absolutely outstanding. You know, if it won't be his heat map is massive, I'd love to see a Ghana Gaze because it's probably double for the space for the time. The the, the space that he had, that he just it, it was just an all round good game from him. You know, I, I'm pre, I'm praising everyone because everyone was solid. You know, Tamari Gray played well. Andy Gordon played well. Mope didn't stop running again. And you know, even even Ashmi Begovic has a couple of good saves there that he needs to make. He got he was practically in Neverland for, the, for that one that hit the post. He turned round and was gone. But you know, thankfully the touch from Tarkovsky has done that. And one person I just want to point out is uh, Nathan Patterson. Nate the Great, mate, absolutely superb. Doesn't give a fuck. No fear. Plenty of running in him. Great engine. Great vision. And you know what? We've been crying out for a right back replacement for so so long. We've got it, you know. He, he's he's gonna he's gonna be one for the future definitely. And I can't you can't fault the whole all round um, whole round Everton today. I've just realised <laughs> <laughs> um, I was meant to take my daughter to the game today, which I did, and she wasn't feeling too good, so we had to leave a little bit late on. Um, that's not him. <laughs> These children. Anyway, you know what? I'm gonna bounce because I'm gonna go and have a drink and enjoy enjoy the rest of the evening. Um, I won't talk about the stuff earlier on. Just I just wound me up the Z card. I didn't get played more than anything. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the in the in the uh, in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel for us. I'm I, I'm buzzing. I, I am. I'm in I'm in such a good mood. It wasn't the greatest performance in the world, but it was enough to get us over the line. The fans were amazing. As always, you know, Lampard's come out and said we were, you know, the fans were fantastic, which is great to see. And it's building that rapport with the fans. He's building that, you know, we we don't want him to go. You know what I mean? I think it's all the media and stuff like that. As 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 we keep saying, the media seems to think well, he's the next one to go. He's clearly not. You know, it's going to be Chris Clips at Leicester, or you know, who knows? And it, it's not going to be Lampard. It's going to be someone else. And, and you know what? I don't, I don't actually care because we we all back Lampard. Lampard, we're all we're all behind him. So that's all that matters to us. So up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong, three points, see you in two weeks. Ta